Can I, did I get the loot off it? Yeah, I guess I did. Dude, what is this thing? It's like some kind of wooden plant creature. Whatever it looks like it is, they were torturing it, man. It's just got like giant spikes through its limbs. Oof. Yeah, so we aren't sailing on that ship, are we? Oh no, it's that ship over there. Okay, good. Yeah, it does look like it's springing from Richard. Uh, Witcher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This impressive. journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Uh, Noctra says, as a mage, you might want to consider getting pistols as secondary, as you will need to be able to remove armor, and the gun will do that. One sec on that, Noctra. So there's... That music, though. Magic, my main skill, bypasses armor. So that's fine. Now the next thing would be, well, you want to get the armor down so your companions can hit them, but my stasis also reduces armor. So it actually reduces armor over time. So my plan is to stasis the hardest enemy, have it melt the armor, and then I will focus with my companions on the lesser guys. Yeah. However, maybe we will make it, maybe we will get a gun. I mean, I am running out of mana like every fight, so if we can't get a way to get my uh, my mana back quicker, then I'm gonna need to do something while it's recharging. Gun mage hype? We'll see. Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Bro, those are plague bearers. Drink it. Hello? Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Don't trouble the noughts. Plague doctors. Pay yeah. no attention Plague to bearers are just drink. something different. <laughs> the long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are. To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency! Lead me to the palace, I beg you. 
And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! I really hope nothing uh, terrible happens sense. to him soon. He seems show. like a really fun character. I like Constantine. I've been scullied. Uh oh. How so? My admiral laid me off. Whoa! My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Ooh, Vasco is a duelist whose extraordinary agility compensates for his lack of protections. He also knows how to handle guns with great ease. One hand blades and guns. His engagement action is to coat his weapons with poison. And his special attack is a secret blade technique. Sounds fun. Cool, cool. Let's talk to him. Desarde, can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. I can't blame you. Most nobles are tiresome. I hope that I've managed to change this poor first impression of me. You have? I was wrong about you. You are different. I should have realized that sooner. I hope you can forgive my manners. It was foolish of me. Did you want anything else? By the way, kind of cool. I'm noticing that a lot of the knots have the same tattoos, but in different orders and amounts. So I'm wondering if the ta if the facial tattoos are to denote their rank as a knot. It's kind of fun. How did you become a knot? As you may have guessed, I am sea given. I was given to the Norts when I was a little child for a reason I ignore. I think I was originally from the congregation, but I have no memory of my family. I took my first steps on the deck of a ship. That's all I can remember. Did you want anything else? How did you become a Nort? As you may have guessed, I was given to the Norts. Yeah. I think I was okay. originally from the congregation, but I have no memory of my family. I took my first steps on... Did you want anything? Cool. I must leave you. That's where the other option disappeared after we did it, but that one didn't. I wonder what the importance of that is. All right, so where are we? Oh. 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 What's up, dude? Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. And I'm sure you know my companion. Vasco? Oh, do not worry. The seahorse is in good hands. I'm sure, Reuben. What brings you here? The Admiral told me that you were the new captain of the ship we arrived on. The seahorse? Yes. It's an excellent ship and a good crew. But you did the crossing. You know it as well as me. Did you want to know anything else? Nope. Leave it at that. That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Kind of weird that it seems like options that are repeatable that you've already done have no indicator that you've already done them. Like, they don't gray out or get an icon by them or anything like that. A little bit... A little bit strange. I feel like they might want to patch that in or something. Uh, okay, we're going to get this first. Stasis makes immobilized enemies more vulnerable to the next strike they receive. Awesome. Okay. Then we got a talent. So I think we're going to go ahead and get... Let's get lockpicking. And that way, if we find a lockpicking rank 2, we'll be able to do that with our chest plate. Oh, but the loot skill. Oh! <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> The, the 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 loot behind lock skill or the general loot skill? You're not supposed to make me choose like this. This is not... But I, I am, by definition, and naturally chaotic lootful. So for me, this is not something that works very well. Um, mm. Going with lock picking first. If we find a rank two lock, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm gonna be so happy. Okay. Do we have any interesting waypoints on our thing yet? No. We just have some numbered warehouses. Or lettered warehouses. Keep poking around. Lock pick loot is the best loot. I can see it. By the way. Big, big thank you to the devs who have made it. So if you walk up onto a platform, instead of just running into an endless wall because of a small drop, your character just jumps off. Thank you. I'm, I, it tires me so much in games when they just arbitrarily limit where you can walk because it's not on the same plane. Mm. It's the little things, man. The little things. Okay, so this is warehouse C. Oh, maybe we need to uh, dress up as a knot for this. Let's save it and check. Ah, yes. Okay. So I don't really want to go in and kill these guys. Um, so let's do... Why did I get a... Oh, it's that. Uh, so we're going to go to here. We're going to go to here. And I think that'll be okay. Okay. Now, in the last map, all the warehouses were just called warehouses. In this one, they're specifically calling them A, B, and C. Uh, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be like quest related or something later. Wow, nothing in here? Hmm, okay. Magnificent feather. All right, we can pull up there for any reason. Maybe. Ooh. Secrets. Like my cape? Thanks. Hey, Melon Farm, how you doing today? Uh oh. Oh wait, are you? You guys are probably knots, aren't you? Yeah, that's why they're not fighting. Maybe. This is warehouse. Oh no, this is this is not a warehouse. This is just a different area. Locked. Lock picking level two. Wow. Just ignore that, my man. All right, let's do a quick check. Yes. He's not murderable. Oh, my backstab wasn't enough to kill him. Oh, interesting. So it's not an instant kill. Hmm. I wonder if it's because, like... So I wonder if only assassins can do that, like, properly. Um. Oh, now I'm all interested.
Damn. A little bit late. Almost. I'm too- Oh, oh, it's because he's a skull. He was a red skull, which means he's higher level than me. Oh. I just thought that meant he would KOS me. Okay. Wait, I have a key. I don't have the key. Oh, just kidding. like we had that i felt like we had that let's try it one more time if it doesn't work this way we'll run around the other side of the building and see what else we can do to get in here there's one thing i've learned about this game is that there's generally multiple ways to do things so all right let's go what's up yeah I wonder if there's even any reason to be in here. Impossible to enter. There's no loot in here? I think I just broke into a quest area. Well, hey, at least now the door's unlocked for later. Ha ha! Okay. That's cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, this looks, this does look exactly like a building on the other island, but the building is the same building. So I noticed that too. That looks like the Harbor Master building from the other island, and that's because that's the Harbor Master building on this island. So, makes sense. I'll take it. Although I will say, I think even the interior looked identical, which is a little bit weird, but that's all right. Whatever. Okay, I can't actually talk to the Harbor Master. Area reserved for knots. Can you go in here? Nope, oh, area reserved for knots too. Anything to blow up or break into back here? Oh. What about here? Oh yeah, dude, okay. So I don't think we were supposed to be able to go into any of these buildings yet. Right on, let's do this. Let's keep moving. Great, great. Into the city proper. Okay, ready? Another great thing about this game. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one. Yeah. That's right. I love games that let you walk. I love it. It's a little thing, but it's such a big deal. This game lets you walk, or jog, or sprint. So instead of just having walk and sprint, or jog and sprint, like most games, there's actually a walk. So you can slowly look around the city, get all your loots, not rush through new areas, Hello, Sawyer. Hey, bud. Ooh. Ooh. Copper district. Okay. Ooh. Wait, can I, like, 
pull myself up on these? No. Okay. Beautiful. Nope. Awesome. Wait, does, does ammo have weight and how much of it do I have? Oh, damn. It definitely has weight. Okay. 7.2 pounds just from that. Jeez. All right. Oh, is he? Oh, oh. But there's loot back there. Oh, oh. Good. Come on, man. You good? Give a little shake. There we go. Okay. Oh, it smells like uh, asparagus or something. Ugh. Oh, store! Hell yeah! Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense oh. honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What Wait, I do for you? is that isn't that the same guy from the last place? Um, where do your products <laughs> come from? Nice. Most of the products that I sell are made in our beautiful nation. Clothing, boots... Maybe he came with us on the boat! All from our own craftsmen. With extraordinary workmanship. <laughs> ah, you have certainly noticed the blue in our linings. That is impossible to imitate. And we alone have the secret. Of course, we do ship in some foreign merchandise. Most of which comes from Alsar. They are also extremely fond of blue, which makes our trading easier. <laughs> How has trade been here? You seem a little off the beaten track. It is true that we are far from the continent, but we trade a great deal with the other cities on the island. And believe me, to keep our stocks replenished, we take advantage of every ship, no matter its origin. It did take us a while to get things set up properly. We had to convince the Norse not to take advantage of the situation, which was no easy task, and to persuade our associates from other nations that they would also benefit from the trade. But in the end, we are all making profit for the greatest satisfaction of our clientele. I like this guy. How is business in general? I can't really complain. The advantage of selling a little of everything is that we always have buyers. I saw many of my fellow merchants forced to close because of the epidemic. And alas, I lost some really good customers. Practically friends. But those of us who remain need to continue to live. And to buy. <laughs> and your noble presence here will bring me even hey, more can... clients. Of that I'm certain. Whoa! Oh, you got the business. You got the business. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, more mana regen. And it adds to my stasis duration? Oh, I kind of want that. Um, hmm. I can sell you. Where'd I get this guy? Old rusty rapier. Maybe I have somebody that wants to use that. Oh, but I lose my craftsmanship. Mm. Still, so that's like almost what double the defense. Yeah, double the defense. Mm, can hang on to those. Yeah. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. 
Oh, I need endurance one. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Take the old rusty rapier. Okay. Do you have endurance one? No, you don't have endurance one. So what about you? Oh, you don't either. Where am I looking for endurance? Um. Wait, what? This isn't what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at their... There's like a companion window. Where was that? Oh, there it is. Okay. He does. Wait, he does have one endurance. Kurt does. Did I go back to that guy by accident? Hold on. Maybe I did. Here's Kurt. Ah, I did, I did do the wrong guy. Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Great. I was on myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm still learning everyone's name and everything. I'm a dingle. Resus resuscitation powder. Ooh. Beautiful waves and nice wind. Don't you think? Oh, what's going on with her? Okay, where are we on the map now? Wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, there's a campfire. This started... Oh, that's my house! Oh, we gotta go to my house here in a minute. Let's go explore this area. Um... Yo, I wonder if I can, like, upgrade my house and stuff. Nah, probably not. That's that's too much. That's too much. I didn't even know I got a house, though. That's pretty cool. Anything back in here? Go up a wall or something? I think I'm actually, I was gonna sell my ammo, but I think I'm actually gonna save my ammo for now. In case I do end up wanting to go gun or something. The thing is though, we really need to look at the mechanics of how this game works, because if we if we do end up going firearms, we would need to get this here. But firearm damage is based on this, accuracy. I will say, though, that it theoretically, we'd only need to up firearms here and accuracy, and then we'd be able to effectively use guns. It's not like we have to up, like, dexterity or anything like that, or perception. So that that is, like, relatively doable. Hmm. 